In this video, we will touch on the way a cyclotron works. It is a machine used to accelerate charged particles along the spiral path to high voltages or energies. Cyclotrons usually are within a bunker or vault used for radiation shielding to protect people outside when the machine is operating. The walls are made of concrete approximately 2 metres thick. This cyclotron was designed and manufactured in Belgium and is a fixed energy machine that accelerates negatively charged hydrogen ions up to an energy of 18 mega electron volts. It has a weight of approximately 20 tonnes. If we look inside the cyclotron, we can see some of its major components. The upper yoke of the magnet with its four south poles, the lower yoke with its four north poles, the iron source used to generate and introduce the ions, and the cyclotron Ds that are used to apply the electric field to the ions for acceleration. Firstly, we introduce high purity hydrogen gas to the internally located ion source, where it is subjected to a strong electric arc. Negative hydrogen ions are created which essentially are hydrogen ions with a second electron added. Electrodes called Ds are used to accelerate the negative hydrogen ions by the creation of an electric field using radio frequency power. There are two high voltage Ds, each consisting of two plates and four ground potential or dummy Ds in this cyclotron. An electric field is created due to the potential difference between electrodes, allowing the ion to be accelerated between the D and dummy D. So the negative ion is pulled into the D entrance between its two plates when it's at a positive potential. A negative potential is then applied, pushing the ion away. This process is then repeated at the other high voltage D. So by alternating the D voltage at a fixed frequency, we achieve four zones of acceleration in this cyclotron, and a magnetic field keeps the ion travelling in the circular path. As the ion moves in the presence of the electric field and the magnetic field, it experiences a force called Lorentz force, which some people might call centripetal force. The particle also experiences centrifugal force that, in the cyclotron, is equal but in the opposite direction. Therefore, we have a circular motion of ions in the cyclotron's uniform magnetic field. However, as the ion gains kinetic energy with each turn, a spiral path is taken. The increase in radius is larger initially and then becomes smaller until the path overlaps. This is because the cyclotron's magnetic field is fixed in time, but the distribution in space can be changed. This magnetic field is called isochronous. This type of magnetic field ensures that the accelerated ions are in sync with the D voltage and therefore keeps accelerating the ion as the kinetic energy increases. After approximately 300 turns, the ion is at the maximum radius of its trajectory. It passes through a carbon foil or stripper, which removes the electrons, thereby forming a positively charged proton. This change of charge changes the pathway of the ion out of the circular orbit and straight into a beam line or directly into a target. This process is happening rapidly, so a beam of protons is now achieved, irradiating a target. The material from the irradiated target can now be transferred by remote control into a shielded workstation or hot cell for processing and other uses.